Hello, everyone, and welcome to another exciting edition of High School Quiz Bowl Competition here on Katie Quiz, brought to you by GBU Life. I'm Ray Petlin, and I'm asking the questions today, and we have a great matchup scheduled for you. Ambridge High School's here. We have the Kiskey School and Washington High School all set to compete to see who moves on to the playoffs in this season of Katie Quiz. And we're going to start off right in the competition with a round we call Player's Choice. We have five picture-based questions for each team. We award 25 points for a correct answer. There are no deductions for incorrect answers in this round. And we call it Player's Choice because there's three categories to choose from. And the Kiski School, you were randomly chosen to participate first. So you get to pick from these three categories, which are Maryland, Weapons, and historical figures. Which category would you like? We'll take historical figures, please. Historical figures it is. We're gonna show you a picture and we want you to name that historical figure, starting off with this one. Mother Teresa. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mother, Teresa. Mother Teresa. That is correct. How about this historical figure? Sigmund Freud. Sigmund yeah. Freud. That is correct. How about this one? Oh, God. Uh, Van, Gogh. Okay, Van Gogh. Van Gogh is correct. How about this historical figure? Elvis Presley. Oh, yep, that is correct. Very nicely done. And finally, this historical figure. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. That is actually Mark Twain, but I can see kind of why you get that Einstein vibe. That means you went four out of five. Not bad to kick off the day with 100 points on the board. Kiski, nice job. Next up is our team from Washington High School. In Washington, the two leftover categories for you are Maryland and weapons. Which category would you like? We'll take weapons. Weapons it is. What wooden missile is famous in Australia? Boomerang. That is correct. Edward Teller is often referred to as the father of what weapon? Hydrogen bomb. The hydrogen bomb is correct. What kind of coating makes bullets able to penetrate bulletproof vests? Copper. Teflon was the answer we were looking for on that one. What rifle accessory originated in Bayonne, France in 1641? Bayonet. The bayonet is correct. And finally, an underwater self-propelled explosive weapon is called what? Torpedo. Torpedo is correct. You two went four out of five, meaning you also have 100 points to kick off the day. Very nicely done, Washington. Now, Ambridge Area High School, you are up next. We have one category left over. That category is Maryland. And what we're going to do is we are going to ask you questions dealing with the state of Maryland. And here we go with your first question. An American abolitionist and social activist, after escaping slavery, she made some 13 missions to rescue approximately 70 enslaved people, including her family and friends, using the Underground Railroad. Who is this? Harriet Tubman. That is right. What's the capital of Maryland? Uh, Bethesda. That is Annapolis is the capital. What is this state bird of Maryland? Is it a finch? That is a Baltimore Oriole as the state bird for Maryland. This person pleaded no contest to tax evasion in 1973 and resigned the vice presidency. Who is this? Pass. That is Spiro Agnew. And finally in this round, this person shouted, Seek Semper Tyrannus from the stage of Ford's Theater on April 14th, 1865. John Wilkes Booth. John Wilkes Booth is correct. You got two out of five there. You start the day off with 50 points, but there are a lot more points up for grabs, especially when we get to the knowledge check, which is coming up next on Katie Quiz. KD Quiz is brought to you by GBU Life, providing life insurance, annuities, and community support since 1892. 